What's going on guys? This is Burrs here at Lanco Tactical. I'm here with Nate Murr, the inventor of the grip stop that uh, you've all come to uh, know and love, including myself. And we're here to talk about Mod 2, which is the Picatinny Rail version. So Nate, go ahead and uh, roll into talking about it a little bit here. Hey guys, uh, basically as some of you know, we have a new Picatinny Rail version out of the grip stop. The original grip stop was developed for free float uh, forearms such as this Troy Alpha Rail or the VTAC Rail. Uh, the Midwest rail. It fits uh, standard forearms like uh, the classic old AR-15 M16 style handguard or the Magpul MOE. So key mod is kind of like the way of the future in my opinion. You have more and more people going to key mod and lightweight handguards like the Alpha rail or the VTAC rail. Uh, so this is directly compatible with those. You're going to have about 20 years of Picatinny rail system out there and as we all know almost every gun in the military has pick rail on it. So a lot of people, as soon as they saw the original grip stop, said, hey, why don't you, why don't you make a pick the rail version? Um, real big demand for the pick rail version, so after launching the standard grip stop in uh, August of 2013, uh, we started working immediately on the Picatinny Rail version. I think as time goes by, you're going to see people getting away from the Picatinny Rail. Uh, it's like, what am I ever going to mount right here? Nothing, right? If I ever need to mount a section of Picatinny Rail there, I can mount a section of Pick Rail on my key mod, or I can put a section of Pick Rail on my Alpha Rail, my Midwest Rail, whatever lightweight handguard I have. That being said, a lot of the guys in the service, you know, you're kind of stuck with what you have. So I specifically designed the pick rail to be compatible with those military uh, weapons. With developing the Picatinny Rail grip stop, I made sure that it was going to have a, a longer flange in the front that's going to allow you to get, uh, basically gain a mid-length length of pull out of a carbine length handguard. A lot of people don't like the carbine length handguard on the issue M4 because you're limited with really where you can put your accessories. And if you're one of those guys out there using that C hand grip or that, that arm forward aggressive grip on the rifle, you're kind of kind of limited where you put your accessories and put your, uh, your grip stop. So here you have the Mod 2 grip stop basically level with the end of the Knight's Armament issue uh, M4 handguard. So what we can do is you need a little bit longer length of pull, go ahead and take the mounting screw out. We can take our swivel, flip it up, slide this all the way up to the last slot on the Picatinny rail. And what that's going to do for us is that's going to increase our length of pull by several more inches. Uh, keeping it where it's all the way flush with the handguard is generally going to be good enough for most guys under six foot tall. But if you're particularly tall or have long arms, you might need that ability to push a couple inches further, which is nice. So we go ahead and we take basically a mid-length upper like this guy here you can see all right that's where you're going to end up so it's basically within the last couple inches of that uh that mid-length handguard so it's going to give you a mid-length length of pull out of a standard issue carbine length rail forearm one of the things that's nice about this is that the profile matches a standard issue nice armament rail cover in uh depth and width and then also uh, most of the other handguards out there like the Tango Down rails, the Magpul polymer rails, uh, pretty much any of the hard plastic rails out there. Uh, so there's not going to be a gap between this front and where the rail cover ends. So that's going to be something that's going to basically assist you in how you set your rifle up. So here I have uh, the Mod 2 Picatinny Rail Grip Stop on my SCAR. And what that allows me to do, you have a limited length of uh, forearm on the scar, just like you do with an M4. If I push that forward and basically have the front flange of the grip stop, uh, even with the forearm, it allows me to achieve that forward hold on the rifle that I want to accomplish. I can reach out a little bit further. I put a vertical grip in the same place and try to use it as uh, a hand stop or something to pull back in my shoulder pocket. Uh, it's not, not going to work out as well. If I really wanted to, just like I could do with the M4, I can run it on the very last slot of, uh, of the Picatinny rail on the forearm. That's going to give me even more uh, length of pull. So what is this one right here that I see? It's basically what this is, is uh, the first step of the grip stop and uh, how it's made. 
So it starts out as a solid block of aluminum and uh, it's milled out so one side at a time and then the other side will be cut out. So this is kind of like, you could actually put this on a Picatinny rail right now if you wanted to, but uh, it's just beginning of the stage. It's one of the first ones that was made so the machinist gave it to me because he thought it would be kind of cool to kind of have like a memento of the evolution of the grip stop. Uh, the machine shop that makes the standard grip stop also makes uh, the mod too and uh, a lot of guys actually that run the machines there are big gun guys and they actually really like the grip stop and have the grip stop on their rifles so it's pretty neat that way. Alright so let's look at the uh, mod 2 which uh, actually just kind of came out here in the last week or two um, and, and what this is is it's a lot of people have commented and said you know um, where's the pick team version when's it coming out is it being developed and such so if you want to speak to that at all or you know, like, like I said uh, I a Picatinny rail version was a natural progression of the system. Um, I had to be able to invent the standard grip stop to be able to make the pick rail version just so that everything would work and, and still flow. And if you have one rifle with a free float handguard without pick rail, you could have one rifle set up with the standard grip stop. And then if you're soldier, you know, marine, uh, cop, whatever, you could have a pick rail version on your, your duty gun that might have Picatinny rail. Uh, actually, it's one of those things I'm really excited about right now. Uh, some of the pre-production pick rail versions are currently with uh, some soft bubbles over in Afghanistan. And I also have some, uh, some pre-production Picatinny rail versions uh, in Africa, in the Handsome Arsoc and uh, some scout sniper teams. So it's already on the battlefield. It's already being used by uh, America's Best. And uh, I'm, I'm actually extremely proud of that, to know that my grip stop is out there on, uh, on the rifles, so the pointing on the spear, killing jihadists. That's what it's all about. So it gives me warm and fuzzy. Yeah, not a lot of people can say that. Not, yeah, I guess I guess not. <laughs> but like, uh, you know, I, I wanted to make a product that you know America's warfighters are going to use. It's going to help them accomplish their mission, drive that rifle faster, harder, more accurately. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Well, we definitely know it does that. So thanks for taking the time out. All right, Captain. And uh, we'll put the uh, links down in the description down below to uh, where you can get it and uh, a bunch of different uh, links to. All the places this has been, all the places on the internet, and all the write-ups it's had. So, uh, thanks for your time. Thanks again. Appreciate it. So, Nate, go ahead and uh, tell us a little about a little bit about. Fuck. Well, happens to the best of us. You just fucked it up, then. Uh, again. Right. So I'm like, not normally the one that. Fucks I'm up. actually focused on doing something. Think about, like, I've done like a pre like. I don't know, like a handful of videos with you, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, you know, now I'm still screwing up. I haven't. You have a hundred, what, a couple hundred videos now, right? 930. 930? And it still takes four takes.